Okay, we're back. So we got the gaskets here. So we're gonna take some of these parts off. So it all in one spot. Don't lose it. Be fine. Let's take it out. Try to. get a hammer and a punch. Of course everything's on the back side, we can't get to it. We'll get to it. Okay, we want this one to come out. It does not want to come out of there. That way, let's go out the other way. It didn't come out, but put a hole through it. Really hard plastic there. And it had a lip on it, that's why. be a trash can around here. Okay, that's out of my way. Okay, so now all we gotta do is take this piece off. Here. Side. Just get all that glue crap on there, which is going to make it hard to do that. But. until it lines up. Okay, there you go. Looks like it fits. Almost. Okay, here we go. Gasket. Gasket. One gasket. Alright. Over to our carbonator. Junking away again. Let's see, which way is that gasket going to fit on here? Whichever way it fits, that's how it goes on. Looks like it goes on like that. Okay. Bolts. 
Okay, one started. Two started. Three started. It all lines up now. It's good. Okay, that goes over there. Needs to be a decent amount of gap in that thing. It's probably why it broke. Didn't have the washers in there. Alright. Where'd the bolts go? So here's his bolts. He's only got one washer on there. I'm sure it's supposed to have more than one. You don't have things spaced correctly. He puts a load on the cover. Cast aluminum will not take that load, it'll break. So you have this problem. Broken parts. We're going to mock it up here. That's why we're doing this. I guess how much gap you got. Okay, you see that gap right there? You have the thick washer put back in there. He did not have that thick washer. So it looks like about a sixteenth thick would do it. So what he did was he just tightened these bolts down and broke these ears off because they are not made to flex. They will not flex. Look at that casting mark, it almost looks like it's broken. <laughs> That's the casting mark. Yeah. So that's what that is. So, so he needs the washers to go on back in there, the breathing washers. So we gotta find some washers for him. I said the instruction sheet would show you what goes where, but let's see how you put the box down. I left the box out. Boom. So these are gaskets, no one gaskets, new bolt, pick tube he's not using, washers, sorted thicknesses and other crap, thick ass washer, that's what we need, these are sealing washers which we don't need, no, 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 junk, 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 okay, that's what we need right there. What is this? Ooh, it's a shim kit. Look at all those different sizes it comes with. Yeah, hopefully there's two of these that we can use. It's also supposed to be a bunch of seals and stuff in here, but we're not using all that crap. Oh, this has been stapled. Staple remover. Okay, so what do we got here? Whoa. So here's our spacers. Okay, thin ones are not going to work. So we just got to figure out what we got. Okay, here's a big thick one. That ain't going to fly. Ooh, more thick ones. Oh, look, look. That might work. We're going to work our sway down here to what we don't need. Here's a bunch of thin ass shims. We don't need those. That looks good. Okay, so thick one. Okay, these look a little thin. Try them. Yeah, 
more than that. I need a little bit more than these. But not this much, which is the big one. So you can see what I did up there. I stuck it up in there and checked it. See, right here. Stick it up in there and it goes, still got clearance. It's no good. Okay, these are probably too thick. Way too thick. So the one I need is the one we don't have. That's probably why we don't have it. Okay, now if I take some of these shim ones here. And put those two together. Voila. Bingo. That fits. So whatever these two make here, that's what we need. Okay, so you can put one on both sides or one on either side, however you want to do it. You need to put a Loctite on here too, so it won't fall off. So we use blue Loctite, otherwise known as Dynotech this time. Close enough for me, I don't care. Thread locker does the same thing. Doesn't matter what brand it is. Okay, so that'll stop this from breaking again because dumbass didn't put the right shims in there. Remember, cast aluminum does not bend, it breaks. Billet aluminum will bend a little bit without breaking. But you put it under stress and it'll break later. So that's the difference. As long as you remember all that, you're good. Okay, so hard. So what do we got in here? That goes right there. So you got a thin one and a thick one. I'm going to put the thick one on the inside. Put the thin one on the other side. And loose me screws up a little bit. Fight, put it in here. Come on, it's not going. Being a pain. Something's not right. I don't know why. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, obviously they go over the bolts. So that ain't the problem. So we're just having an alignment issue. Alignment issue was it didn't want to go in. That was the alignment issue. Issue the hole, maybe. Yeah, I'm not sure. Just want to go. Can't feel it. All right, what's going on here? Okay, I got pressure on here. Pull that out. Take a look, see where the air is at. Needs to go up. And over. Right there. Not 
like me at all. Something's not tight. All right, something ain't fitting. Let's take this one off. See what the problem is. Well, I think I know what the problem's already is. Yeah. Okay, you can't put the wash on the other side because it's thicker right here than the half inch. So the spacers have to go on this side. Okay. So we just put these on the inside edge. Or they go all the way against the they go against the head. So that's all you gotta do is do it correctly and things will work. So you don't have to force it, just figure out what the problem is and fix it. So much easier that goes together when you do it correctly. Incorrect doesn't work. So take that one out. That one out where they belong. Look at that! Yeah, almost like it made to go on there. Okay, so you slightly bring those in. I'm going to pull out the center screws here. We'll have blue on them. Hopefully we don't have to take these back out to clean the carburetor out, but if we do, we do. Way too much Loctite on that. Spread it around a little bit. Not that I'm cheap or anything. It's like wasting it. Besides, if you flood it on there with the thread, it's just going to make it harder to get out. It'll be impacting in there more. Just took a little bit of load on there I didn't like. See how the backing plate was bending a little bit? Center a little bit. Tight. Tight. Okay, carburetor's on there correctly now. Truck style air filter. Okay. And the Indian air filter. That's how they're made on the inside. They say Indian in there, see? In case you didn't know what the Indian head was all about. Okay, line up the hole. You can see the hole. One of them. And back 
one. Solid again. Yeah, it's not going to break off and fall off like it was doing before. Still reach up and get his choke. Yep, works like a champ. Yeah, it's been that way since I've seen the bike because he's, he's always had a broken one on it. All right, it's good and solid like it's supposed to be, and it shouldn't fall off in another week or two. All right. <coughs> So that's one step closer. This last thing I do right now is get the exhaust pipe mounted back onto the bike. That'll be it for tonight. Okay, as I put a little bit of oil on the threads up here, makes things tighten up a lot better. In a way, frame, clutch cable, everything. Okay. I'll get the pipe pulled up into the head first. Try to pull it up semi evenly. Get the bolt down below down here. Pull it in now. And my half inch wrench out. Super tight, but tighten down. That's enough. That's enough. If you over tighten them, all you do is you bend the bracket flange up here. You just bend it in half. You strip out the nuts. All kinds of stuff you don't need to do. Doesn't need to be that tight. It's fairly. 
fairly vibration because of the bracket the way they're made. Of course, you're hearing this vibrating too. All right, so now I just got to get the heat shield on there and pipe mount it again. See how much easier it was once I got that pipe out of the way to work on the bike. It doesn't really take that much to take it on and off, so it's actually time saved. Not to mention frustration and lost blood. Because easy you lose blood and get frustrated. It's easy how it works. That's the one. Those are disconnected, so clamp back in the back side. Get it started. Same on the other side, I guess. Oh. What I like to do is tighten up a little bit. And you take the tank and you rotate it around underneath the heat shield. Ah, that is sharp, sharp, sharp. Making me bleed. It's not bleeding, but it took some skin off. It's a callus. <clears throat> then as you tighten it up the tang is going underneath the cover see on those stupid tang looking sticking out looks like crap see you got a tang right there that's what we're talking about so first you gotta get it in there a little ways like this so you're gonna rotate around and stick it underneath the cover there and rotate it back you know, this is triple hard to do without it. Only one hand. Yep, almost. I can push it in, but I can't pull it back. All right, I need two hands. Sometimes you need two hands to work on a Harley. Cover there's a black mark or I mean a rust mark down here. I put it back where it was. Once you get it centered up where you want it, then you tighten it down. That's enough torque. And you go about that much. If you go more than that, you just rip out the uh, screw on the clamp, which I tend to do after about three or four times because I do torque them pretty heavy. Yeah, thumb got hit pretty good. All right, so now that's all on there like it's supposed to be. That's all on there. Choke all works. Lines are all on. So we gotta go ahead and do a, a filter change, I think, isn't called here. We'll pull that off and put a new one in there. And then we'll put some new oil on the bike. Put some maximal in there. And the tire should be in tomorrow, so we'll deal with all that stuff tomorrow. All right, so for now, that's what we got to do to make the bike work. So there you go. So we got all the lines put in here now. So those are all put in. And we got the exhaust on, fixed the air cleaner. So all of this stuff now is fixed. So there you go. All done.